What is going on, everybody? It's Jets Central coming back with breaking NFL news. And uh, the New York Jets go out and sign cornerback Trumaine Johnson. Huge news, huge news, huge news. Uh, $15 million per season. I'm so pumped up for it right now. I, I cannot believe it. He was the best cornerback on the market. Me personally, I was kind of holding. I was I was more leaning towards Malcolm Butler, to be honest with you guys. But he went out and signed with Tennessee. I didn't really think we had a realistic shot to sign Tremaine. Then he comes and signs with the New York Jets, uh, which definitely brightened the day because this was a horrible day for Jets uh, free agency, a horrible first day for Jets free agency. Uh, up until that point, uh, you know, being the just being all braggadocious, you know, uh, leading up to today and then not doing anything, leading the league in cap space and signing Josh McCown to a one year, $10 million deal. Um, it was pathetic. But up until, you know, whatever, a few hours ago, um, it changed everything. They got they landed the best cornerback on the market, uh, $15 million per season. Yes, it is pricey. I do understand that. But I'm with it, you know, we have enough money to pay him. But first things first, before I get into, you know, the the move, I need to apologize to you guys. I dropped the ball completely. I pride myself, I pride the channel on getting news up, breaking news up as as quickly as possible. And um, this is something, I mean, this is the biggest Jets news that, hap- that has happened in a very long time, you know. And I, to be honest with you guys... Uh, the way the day was going, you know, Malcolm Butler goes, Allen Robinson, Watkins, you know, all these guys sign. I'm sitting here thinking, you know, we're like I said before, the Jets are sitting here bragging about um, being aggressive on the first day of free agency, and our only move is signing Josh McCown to a one-year, ten million dollar deal. Um, I, I really did not think it was going to get any better than this. I didn't. I thought we were probably going to have to wait until tomorrow to see any more deals. So I went out. I went out to the mall and stuff just to kind of clear my head, and. Um, I get to the mall and I get the news that we signed uh, Johnson and Isaiah Crowell to a three-year deal. I try to throw up a quick live stream and uh, I had no connection. So I was sitting there at the mall kind of stranded. So I had to drive all the way back home uh, to make this video. So completely dropped the ball. Uh, I completely apologize to you guys. Um, but nevertheless, it's, it's huge news. So I, I, I do apologize. But the good news is, is that, that now Tremaine Johnson is part of this new Jack City uh, you know, as they coined the phrase in New York. I mean, you have Jamal Adams, former first round pick of last year. Marcus May looks really promising, former second round pick of last year, last season. Now you get a true lockdown number one cornerback in Trumaine Johnson. All the physical tools in the world fits Todd Bowles' system perfectly. He's going to be the Patrick Peterson of this of the Jets defense. Not saying he is Patrick Peterson by any means, but he's going to be playing the same role that Peterson played uh, under Todd Bowles' tutelage in Arizona. So love the move. I don't care that it's $15 million a season. At this point, we have to spend money. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, we missed out on Malcolm Butler. It's okay. We had a beautiful bounce back with the signing of Tremaine Johnson. Love it. Let me know down in the comment section your guys' thoughts on this move. I'm so pumped up about it. Um, I really could go on it for another hour. But let me know down in the comment section your guys' thoughts on the move. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for understanding. I do really apologize because it was it was on my mind like the whole time. Um, so with that being said, yes, go Jets.